Yes, we heard a very clear uh, position on U.S.-China relations from the new foreign minister, Qin Gang. And he's basically warning everyone that the relationship is in a very difficult situation. Uh, let's just take a look. You know, he's put the pressure on the U.S. to say that China is certainly going to respond. It's not going to act as it was in the past. He specifically pointed to the guardrails that the U.S. government has been talking about, saying that you know what the U.S. wants by saying guardrails is that China won't respond and he says you know that's simply not possible and if you also look at his comments on the balloon situation you know, he reiterated China's stance that this is an unmanned vehicle subject to forces beyond its control and in terms of uh, what it means for the US China relationship he says that this relationship has uh, entirely deviated from a rational path so again warning words there and what really stood out is he was very firm in saying if the US China relationship keeps going down its path and that the US doesn't hit the brakes, then there might be conflict or confrontation. So very strong words there. On Taiwan, it's essentially what we've heard before from the foreign ministry, you know, that the issue is a red line that cannot be crossed between uh, you know, U.S.-China relations. And also on Ukraine war, again, encouraging uh, negotiations, a peaceful resolution of, to the crisis there. So in all, if you think about all his comments, and especially from the mix of journalists who are allowed to be at the press conference here, it's uh, Qing Gang really presenting China's future foreign policy as an alternative to what he calls you know, Western systems, and that China has its own ideas, own way. And while it's not as antagonistic as wolf warrior foreign policy, it's certainly going to be different.